Hello, my name is MSU. In this video, I want to show you a really cool trick in Photoshop where you can add some light rays, you can add some dust, some light effects, and erase elements and just make an outdoor portrait awesome. All right, so I want to show you how to go from this photo to this photo, which I think is a lot more interesting. It's got light rays, you know, uh, I erased the people around her. Let me show you again. You see, I erased the people around her. I added some dust and light rays and particles. And I just, you know, I love doing this kind of edit in Photoshop. I wanted to share this with you. I hope you're going to love it. So let's jump over to Photoshop. This is the raw file. So I'm going to just double click on it. And I am going to do a little bit of editing. I'm going to open up a little bit of shadows, a little bit of white, make it a bit brighter. I think I want to make the whole photo warmer because it was it was actually taken very early in the morning. You can see the sun was just behind. You know, I want to make it yeah warmer, add some magenta, add some yellow to really have this very warm feeling. Uh, I actually might want to turn on this lamp here, which I didn't do in my original edit. I'm going to try that. So to turn on a lamp in camera roll, you just make a little circle in the lamp. Okay, you make sure that um, you go down here and you make sure that you are inside. So whatever you do is going to be applied inside. And then you boost uh, seriously the exposure, like a lot. And also you add some yellow. So yeah, I make it. I'm, and this is going to be like the heart of the lamp. Maybe a little. Actually, you know, I can zoom in a little bit here. That would help. So let's go to like 100%. Let's zoom in. Yeah, I just want to make yet yeah, that. And usually what I do is I right click and I duplicate and I make another circle much bigger this time for the radiance of the light. And of course, much less powerful. Let's go back to um, fit in view. Voila. And I'm going to make this circle way bigger so that it sort of shines the light around like this. And I'm going to make it much less, just a little bit of light and less yellow. Okay, so that is kind of cool because, you know, early morning you have this uh, this lamp. And I think I'm kind of good as far as camera is concerned. Now, the next thing, oh, no, you know, I forgot to do one thing. And that's the good thing about camera is you can just double click. It's still a raw file. I want to go to the transform option here and click on auto, see what it gives me. I don't like what it does because you see that the lamp now is too close here. So you know what? I'm just going to leave it like this because I want some space here. It's not, it's kind of okay. Maybe just do a little rotation. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so that this is kind of more straight, but uh, a little bit of vertical, maybe just a little tad. I just don't want the lamp to be too close. That's even too much. That's even too much. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the crop tool. I'm going to crop this uh, four by five Instagram format. So uh, let's see here. Oops. Four by five. And I want to make sure that, uh, yeah, I want to make sure she has enough space. You know what? Actually, four by five is not good. I'm just going to, I'm not going to crop. I'm going to crop it freely for now. I'm going to crop it freely. I just want to, yeah, maybe this. I don't care about that. Yeah, that's good. So now I'm happy and now let's, I can click on OK. So I've developed the raw file and we can go directly into adding some dust and um, different effects here. Oh, OK, I have to, because I cropped the raw files, I have to crop that also, but that's fine. Uh, I I'm going to do that at the end. How to add some light rays. So what I do is I have a library and I'm going to give you for free uh, these items. You can just drag and drop into your library. So you go to Windows, Library. And I'm going to go to light rays. Okay, you can see here I have a whole bunch of light rays. And they are all, they were shot, it was actual light rays that were shot on the black background, really high quality ones. And I'm going to give them the one that I use, I'm going to give them for free. So I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to drag and drop it. Okay, I'm going to put this on the side for now. And you can see here, because it's on a black background, if I just go over to screen, check it out, beam, it becomes uh, completely invisible. All right, and I'm going to put this one here, pretend it comes from the grid. And the problem is that it's uh, the lines are a little too uh, obvious, you know. I think um, they need to be blurred a bit. But this is when you drag and drop from your library, it's a smart object. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
Okay, and then uh, now Gaussian blur, I'm going to do just a little bit. I just want to make the rays a little less obvious, like something like this. And it's good because I prefer to have them like this so you can really decide how, you know, how much blur or not you want the rays to be. But yeah, I wanted it to be blur like this. I think that's good. I want to warm up a little bit the rays. So I'm going to go to um, UN saturation. I'm going to click this little icon here. That's going to make that this settings are only going to be applied on this light ray. And I'm going to click on colorize. I'm going to go to yellow, you know, yellow color, and maybe a little less saturation. But yeah, or a little more. Yeah, that's something like that. Yeah, kind of like that. You see before this color, after the color. Okay, now I'm going to make one more ray coming down on her. I forgot what I used. I think, oh yeah, I used one with dust. I want one with dust. Yes, this one has dust in it. I think this one has dust in it. Let's see here. And you see this one has a little bit of a dust effect to it. I don't know if I use this one. Let's see. Uh, maybe not this one. I think I think I used this one. Yeah, this one was a little more organic, even more. Yeah, that's the one I used. So, and because it's a smart object, you can make them as big as you want. This is really a cool thing. And it's free. I'm giving it to you. And all you have to do is click the link below the video. And I'm going to put this on screen. Voila. Also, guys, don't forget to smash the like button. It helps other people find out about this video and these techniques. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to learn. I read every single comment. And then, uh, as I said, because I clicked between the background and the UN saturation, the color automatically got applied. And I'm going to move this around. Uh, maybe uh, you can see in real time what's happening. And uh, so if you think it's too much, you can just lower the opacity uh, of this. Okay, let me just recrop this photo. It's kind of annoying this whole. So I'm going to clear this. I'm just going to crop it how I want to. Come on, this and this. I like the. Uh, I like to actually crop it on Instagram. I posted it with um, you know, in four by five. But I think there's a little more space. It's even looking better. Okay, so now we have that effect, which is cool. Um, I want to erase the people. The people must be erased. So when you when you want to erase something on a smart object, you have to rasterize it, meaning it can't be modified, meaning uh, the lamp that I did here is going to be, you know, there forever. So that's fine. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rasterize the layer. I'm actually going to duplicate the layer so that I'm on this version. And oh, by the way, I'm also giving you this photo so you, and so you can try to practice with it. You can even post it on social media and just tag me on it. OK, now I want to clean up this people behind her. So what I usually do when I want to clean it, I start with the heavy duty. I take the uh, spotting brush tool and I do a first a little pass where I just brush away the people uh, really quick. Boom, boom, boom. And then uh, hopefully they are really this ones are really annoying because they're really close to her. And this is really not good. Uh, Photoshop didn't do a good job. So you can just do a little pass over it. That the good thing is when you have a lot of texture like this, uh, the stem tool usually would do a good job. But I usually just, you know, do some pass and pass, and it's so random that uh, it's already doing a good job there. Voila! And then you can take the stem tool and you know clean up that wall if you, if you need to. Uh, I bet nobody's gonna see it now. That really this is this this is really uh, problematic here because it's right behind her. So what I do is I go take P the pen tool and I follow her, her arm, which is a little blurry. Voila. And uh, I follow there, make a little selection, right click, make selection and I give it a one pixel of feathering, meaning it's going to make a selection that's got like one pixel. And then I take the stem tool with S for stem tool, uh, control and option to make it big or small. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going to hold on the option key and I want to copy this texture here because it's really annoying to have these people right behind her ears, her hairs. I am French. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have problems saying hairs. OK, and this I mean, it's kind of blurry, so it doesn't really matter. And then you can just go here on her hairs and just add back some of them there. But it's as it's all blurry. So I don't think anybody's going to notice and check it out before, after, before, after. I would probably spend more time, but it's a general idea. You know, um, this is not for print. 
this is just for the web and nobody's going to notice that okay so there's just one mistake you see that light tray is white and that one is yellow because the hue and saturation is only being applied here so what you need to do is hold on the option key and between these two layers just click here and this way this hue and saturation is going to be applied on this one is one so you just click the alt key between these two layers and now the yellow is being applied okay last let's do a final retouching oh actually you know what look the layer the 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 light ray stops a little abruptly here so what you can do is uh, create a little mask take a brush B4 brush big brush black I make it the opacity a bit uh, a bit you know low like 20 yeah like in the 50s so black and I'm just gonna brush this so that the the effect is more subtle okay so we got light rays we got everything now we're ready for some final retouching so what I usually do at the end is I do the final double development so I press command alt shift E that's gonna create a layer it's a crazy shortcut I repeat command alt shift E crazy with this shortcut you can create a layer of everything that we've done so far then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna convert to smart object so that is going to be sort of like a raw file and now I can go here filter camera filter and I can develop this photo just like if it was a starting point so I'm just going to open the shadows a bit bring down the highlights there's a white there's a black add a bit of contrast I want to add some great I want to close the photo on her so I'm going to click on gradient I'm going to click on minus exposure so that everything is at zero except exposure and I'm going to just drag this to uh, so the attention is on her make you make this wall a little bit darker so you can just you know decide how much darker you want it this one a little bit darker too and maybe the top of the photo a little bit darker voila and then let's play around let's click on the hand here to go back to the general settings let's see if I add a bit of magenta maybe a bit more blue a bit more yellow yeah maybe a little more yellow a little bit of texture to finish it off maybe a bit of clarity a little bit of clarity and a bit of vibrance to make it pop just a little bit of vibrance and voila I kind of like that click OK and you know it's just fun doing this kind of things so I'll show you the original photo we came from this one and this is the final result I'm gonna put the below the link I'm gonna give you for free this light rays but if you want the full collection I'll also put a link to that I'm also giving you this photo as part of with the light rays so you can you know mess around with it if you post it on social media just tag me at add photo surge and a couple of weeks ago I did a video about retouching whether retouching is cheating or not check it out